away. But I'm assuming Zenkai is going to go right with the Sidira. He's already warmed up. He got to play Truth. Let's see how this pops off. It should be good. All right. Stage select. Let's see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Yep. This is exactly what I was expecting. Zenkai warmed up with the Sidira. Cinemax is going to go spinal. Uh, I, I want to say that that was his original main. I know that he does work on his Jago as well. It's definitely improved a lot. I want to see how he plays this matchup, though. This matchup, it's tough. Truth did a really good job in the matchup, especially with the uh, resources in the corner. I want to see if Cinemax is going to borrow from that strategy, looking for an early counter break. Something you got to be very careful uh, about using in KI, especially against Zenkai. Zenkai will try to observe patterns first. I've noticed, unless you give him something, you know, obvious to break that isn't really counter break bait, you know, he'll, he'll take the risk and break. But a lot of the times he'll observe, especially if he's not down bad. He's not going to break right off the rip. Now, everything is subject to change, right? Zenkai might be feeling it, might say, you know what, I'm, I'll just do whatever. I'm going to make myself unpredictable. But he's very willing to uh, observe. He'll sit and block for a long time while you're hitting him. If you're not uh, in a position to kill him, he'll kind of hold out. Cinemax right now just trying to put that damage on. Look at the defense. Shadow counter spending that bar, getting rid of those skulls. You get hit, they're gone. Very, very good stuff. Securing what he needed to there. Ooh, out of range. Looking for a throw, Zenkai's got to keep that uh, information in mind. I don't know what Cinemax was expecting there, but he might be able to set up like a, a whiff on his situation off of something like that. Those ranges right there where people throw like that, a lot of the time I think they're expecting forward dash into throw, thinking the, uh, the opponent, after creating their offense, doesn't want to give up their turn. So if the opponent keeps blocking, sometimes people will dash forward, throw. And I think that's what Cinemax is looking for there. Hitting these skulls. Zenkai going to use this instinct. He is so good at using this. Super jump cancel into Shadow Kunai. Going to even things up. Cinemax, is he going to pop? Teleporting the throw tech. Zenkai with the delay tech. It's ridiculous. If you noticed, he didn't throw right away. The teleport happened. There was a small delay. And then he teched. Super strong piece of defense. If you've never done that before, use it. The concept behind delay tech is you get knocked down. Maybe you don't have an invincible reversal or you don't want to spend bar. So you wake up crouching, right? Or stand block. Most people will crouch block. To block a media attack, and then maybe about a split second later, you're hitting throw in the event that they try to throw you. It gives you enough time to block a media and throw at the end of a throw window and have that throw tech timing available at the very last possible second so you can block the media attack and defend against throw. That's where the shimmy is going to come into play. That's where... Um, uh, Overhead, right? A max range overhead or setting yourself up there will come into play or throw bait with a jump, right? You walk up to them, you jump, and then they'll end up uh, throw teching since they're blocking and throwing late, and you'll blow up the throw tech. Zenkai is so solid at doing that. Cinemax, man, what a performance. He, he came out swinging, and he was utilizing his resources trying to stop Zenkai from having instinct and shadow bar. I like the pressure. Uh, he was trying to be preemptive too, even with throw defense. I think he just needs to take a little bit of time to ooh, get thrown for that. No dash for you. Teleport. That was sick. I don't know if he knew that was coming, but the fact that he teleported and it caught Zenkai after backdashing is absolutely insane. Nice break on the mediums there. Again, Zenkai content with defense counter hit on that. I don't know what Cinemax was doing there. It looked like he fell asleep at the wheel. Everything just completely dropped. Cinemax trying to run away with this round. Right, literally. That's a punish. Crouch fierce and a shadow spin. Super jump. Shadow kunai. 
it helps to extend damage while doing that because it's pretty much impossible during certain combos to break. It happens way too quickly. One of the better options while in instinct is Sadira. Right, I'm jumping around. Cinemax again thinking the throw was coming, but he's out of range. That's something that Zenkai's got to be mindful of as well, knowing that when he sets up those scenarios, look for the throw whiff and get that punish. Cinemax not doing bad at all. The ant here, don't jump at me. Look at this, holding on to the magic pixel. Ooh, counter hit. I actually really like the way Cinemax is coming out swinging. Uh, fearless with the game plan. Ooh. No, you don't. Cinemax saying, look, I am going to try to lock out that instinct. You do not get to use that right now. You're not going to build any. What? The, the low slide or whatever he went for. I'm not sure. It was a little bit too high up, but whatever he went for there got him some uh, some distance out of that corner. Counter hit. That guy just trying to be tricky. He's waiting it out. Notice how he doesn't instantly jump. He'll force Cinemax to block. Wait for a little bit of a, a delay. Like, oh, Cinemax isn't going to do anything. He's not going to throw any special move. He's not going to try to lock me down. All right, I'm going to take to the sky. Late on the punish there. Blowing up the low skull. This is death right here. GG. Good games from both players so far. Cinemax, he's got, he's got openings. He has offense that he's using. Uh, I think he's using pretty well. There's been a, a, a couple points where he dropped some damage. I don't know what happened. If it was maybe like a lag spike on his end or maybe just execution. But he's doing damn well. And I think for this kind of matchup where Sidira can just take to the sky, take to the sky. Hey, Spinal, what are you going to do? Air to air can be done. It's not as reliable. Anti-air with Crouch Fierce, not as reliable. So you really have to have that solid opening, I feel. Try to push this character into the corner and frame trap for dear life, right? Just make it impossible for Sidira to hold up. Lock her down and then if she gets meter during blocking uh, and doesn't get opened up, that's when you need to start um, baiting the shadow counter, right? Or looking for the throw option. And if Spinal gets a throw, he's going to get a skull from it. So I'm really digging this right now. Let's fucking go, guys. Cinemax showing up to, to play Zenkai, saying, look, I'm, I'm willing to bat. Let's go. I'm trying to hit it out the park. And Zenkai doing the damn thing, saying, look, my abilities, my skills are not to be underestimated. I respect you, but uh, it's time for me to get my A game. Look at this combo game. Always impressive to watch the counter hit. Cinemax getting caught. Air to air. I like that. Zenkai underneath. And Cinemax like, look, bro. If it's a jump fierce, whatever I got to do. I'm jumping and I'm swinging. I'm stopping you. You're not going to just take to the sky without me at least trying to challenge. Counter hit. Activate. This is where Cinemax wants him, right here in this corner. Skulls out. Counter breaker! That's the big brain stuff right there. He's like, look, I know. I set the trap for you. You sprung it. Here we go. Cinemax with the bar meter. Zenkai, he's got instinct at the very least. This is his chance. He's going to try to dunk this life bar, but Cinemax saying, nah, man, if I break, that's just one less second. I got to deal with your nonsense. We're getting through that. Do not freeze the game in front of this guy. There's a few players that no matter what stress they're under, they're looking to buffer that shadow move to get in. Again, I don't know what Cinemax is looking for there. Maybe the Ender's just not coming out. But this is the second time I've seen this drop. Run up overhead and Zenkai not instantly waking up. That actually worked out in his favor. Jumping out of there. Stand medium kick confirm. I like that so much. Using normals to convert. Being confident in your ability to single button confirm. Air to air game. Staying active. And this is what's so impressive. Severe players. Just all this combo maniac nonsense. I love it. Catching him off guard. The shadow spin. He went for the break. Is this enough? Damage ender? Yeah. I think Zenkai wanted to just try to finish it, and if he didn't kill, oh well. 
he didn't want to try to overextend. It wasn't quite in danger yet and give Cinemax a chance to break. He was willing to just cash out for the damage, even if it wasn't en enough to kill. And in this situation, dude, wow. <sighs> Look, I got to hand it to Cinemax. I don't know what's going on with the drops, but I feel like in those situations, had those combos not dropped, we could have been looking at a much, much closer uh, or even, you know, a victory or two sitting on Cinemax's end. Zenkai definitely no slouch. Uh, you can't take anything away from him. Uh, the anti airs we've seen today, just in the short set we saw with Truth, um, the defense, getting through uh, shadow projectiles, using Recluse as an anti air earlier against Truth, forward heavy kick anti air, air to air game, the throw techs, especially with the delay tech. Again, Zenkai really smart about that, knowing. You're going to have to up your offense if you're going to open me up like that. Yes, it is possible to just run up, smack him with overhead. Some overheads are harder to deal with in this game than others. But he's willing to block the meaty, delay tech, and just make it so difficult to get the damage. Who are you jumping at? Don't jump at me. We've talked about this. While I love the uppercut anti here, and everybody knows this, seeing a forward heavy, a crouch heavy, as long as I'm seeing people defend that sky, Make it hard for the opponent. Don't give them that free opportunity. Let them know, look, man, I came to play. Getting through the skull. Shadow web clean. I like the break there. I like the fact that Cinemax is staying alive. He's he's not falling asleep at the wheel. Anti air, don't fucking jump at me. There we go. We got the AAs. AA meetings, I have a problem, guys. That's Mikey in a nutshell. I like that. Right there. Back to the match, though. None of the nonsense. Anti-airs from both players. Damage output looking real good from Zenkai. The light break from Cinemax earlier doing some work, keeping Zenkai uh, on his toes, letting him know, like, look, you can't just do whatever you want. I'm going to break. Look at the patience from Cinemax. He knows he doesn't want to just keep hitting stuff on block, but this is not good. This is not good right here. Giving the opportunity for Zenkai to spend bar, take his turn back. Still on that first life bar, Cinemax is feeling the heat right now. He's feeling the pressure, knowing this guy's good. I gotta do something about it. Finish this life bar, lockout instinct. Let's fucking go. Cinemax trying to find his way in, but leaving a gap big enough for that uh that jump in. Zenkai's seeing him move forward. He's like, look, man, if it's not frame tight or you don't have a trap waiting for me. We're jumping out the gym. Let's go. GG's to both players. Uh, I'm liking the fact that Cinemax, like I said, he, he's not quitting. He's not giving up. He's willing to take risks to break. He, he's trying to make things look a little bit different. But one, one area that Zenkai is capitalizing on, too, is when he sees a big enough gap, look, as annoying as it could be, because this character's jump is... It's nuts, right? You can double jump, uh, neutral... Jump backward, jump forward, jump forward, jump backwards. And it could be tough to pin down, right? And it could be super difficult to anti air. The fact that uh, Zenkai is finding that opportunity to look at these, you know, the mobility options from Cinemax. Okay, he's throwing a skull, delayed, then he ran. As soon as that skull's out of dodge and it's away from him, he's finding the opportunity to jump. We're going to see a switch to Tusk. Hmm. I wonder how this is going to play out. I wonder if Sadira can actually be annoying enough to really get things started against Tusk. Tusk can get big damage. Deflect is a pretty damn decent tool. And it's Crouch Fierce. It can even hit behind him. I think Zenkai is going to have to watch the jumps. Got the overhead there. That is negative on block. If Zenkai is aware and pays attention, he can punish that. But Cinemax is like, look, if you're not going to block your dome, we're going to split it. Yeah, what a good tool right there, Deflect. Cinemax, he needs to find a way to get in and just stay in, do this damage. Burn that instinct, use those cancels. It, you basically can't shadow counter this character. If the Tusk player use, uh, uses all of the tools correctly while in instinct and just uses the cancels correctly, you're not really going to be able to shadow counter him. Nice break. 
And this instinct activation, look at how well he uses it. It's so hard to defend this. Like, if you guys have never played a strong Sidira, I highly recommend that you check it out, try it for yourself, and see how well these players use this instinct, right? Whether you're looking at, you know, Samuel D, you're looking at Calypso, what an anti-air. Good God, like, I love seeing that, man. What a fucking anti-air with rec uh, Recluse. But if you're looking at Calypso, Sammy D, Zenkai, and you see how well they use the instinct, right? Shit's nuts. It, it allows this pressure that otherwise normally isn't possible. You, you would at least get a chance to poke out. But then with this web active, you know, you try to hit a button or do something that isn't invincible, doesn't get you through the web. Hell, even sometimes doing that. He'll get mixed. You'll miss the uppercut. He'll double jump. He'll be slightly off on the other side. And you feel like, man, how do I get out of this? And you just got to block it out sometimes. If you guys are enjoying what you're seeing right now, everybody in chat, uh, make sure you give Crazy Skate Nate a follow. Sub to him. Let him know that you're enjoying this. This is all due to Nate uh, wanting to put things out for the community, okay? Please, like, help this guy out, man. What a phenomenal fighting game. Player, stay at Roundhouse. Who the fuck are you running at? Don't run, don't jump. I love that button. It's one of my favorite buttons in the game. Stand, stand Roundhouse uh, from Sidira. Forward Roundhouse from Shadow Jago. I like Stand Fierce from uh, Jago as well. I like his Stand Fierce. I like the, the swipe. Cinemax right now. Trying to put on a show, trying to do the damn thing. You gotta hand it to him, man. He's fighting a high caliber Sidira. I don't think this is a good matchup for Spinal at all. But the fact that he's been able to maintain, put some damage on the board, baited. That is a sign of a player who is evolving. Get the fuck out of here. We're gonna kill the spider, okay? Bag of Bones ain't done yet. That was a very, very nice bait. The fact that he blew up the shadow counter and he got the counter break? Let's fucking go. I'm digging it, man. All right, Skull's out. This pressure. Gonna get baited there. Yeah, Zenkai knew he could backdash. He can hold up as long as it's an option to get away from throw. Web, he sits safe. One of the things that makes Instinct very uh, difficult to deal with, right? Normally things that Zenkai would not be able to do, if he times it correctly, he can do anything negative on block, call out the web, but there are ways to punish it. Spending meter, uh, sometimes even being willing to take trades in that situation, but better to trade and get yourself out of a situation than having to stay and hold uh, the mix. Cinemax looking for the first first game to put on the board. He wants to put one on there. Zenkai using all of these heavies. Okay, look, I'm going to rack up this damage. Don't fuck with me. Cinemax out of there. Where do we go from here? Run up, frame trap. Zenkai with the delay. He knows the tick throw options. Scoop de doop. Is he going to spend? Oh, no. This could be death. So you've chosen death, no way, good shit. And that's the thing about Zenkai, you gotta watch. Even when you're willing to respect him and block, if he gets the throw, while it may not do as much damage as everyone else's throws initially, the opportunity to juggle, and then if you lock out or if he counter breaks in situations like that, if he's sitting on a shadow, uh, um, shadow bar, it's got a purple Jolly Rancher at the bottom, GG's, it sucks. Because you're going to get thrown. If he counter breaks, it's even bigger damage. If you lock out, he can keep the juggle going. And as soon as he's ready for it and he's got uh, KB maxed, he'll shadow recluse, cash out all that damage. But man, and look, Cinemax, look, let's talk about this. He's turning up the heat, man. He's really bringing the heat. Zenkai is an absolute fucking monster. And Cinemax is like, hold up, man. I got to show you what I'm about. And he's been playing a hell of a game. The Shadow Counter Bait plus the Counter Breaker. That, that's not random to me. He's setting that up. He's looking for that. you got to give credit where credit's due. I know Zenkai very well. And I know that he's definitely got respect for this player. I, I can see it. I can tell by the way he's playing the matchup. He's giving his A game. There's no sandbagging here. 
I like that teleport. I'm getting away from the web playing. Thanks, Zenkai. I don't want any of your mobility. Look how deep the jump heavy kick was. Look at this frame trap. Zenkai willing to stay on the grass. See, that's the thing. You don't know if he's going to jump. Should you try to poke back? And he'll mix that so well. But he's going to just keep moving around. Will he sit in front of you? Will he kind of, you know, dance back and forth and look for the stand roundhouse with punish? That skull blowing up that option. Cinemax on fire again. This is exactly what he needs. This is exactly what Cinemax needs to do, and he's doing it very well right now. Challenging, saying, look, block the skull, hold the low jab. Lock out, get this big damage. Actually choosing uh, resources, I kind of agree with that. He probably could have went for a damage ender, but putting these resources out is going to give him a better chance in neutral should he get pushed out. And it's just going to make his offense scarier. So I think Cinemax here is planning for the long run. He wants to try to stop Zenkai. He wants more opportunities. He wants to be harder to block, harder to deal with. But these skulls out, cursing this meter. Counter breaker! Who the fuck are you breaking? You're not breaking! Not enough to kill Zenkai. If you came back from this, I wouldn't even know what to say. Very nice from Cinemax HD. That was high definition if you ask me. What a fucking game, man. I really, I was getting a little scared. I thought Zenkai was about to go UI right there. And be like, look guys, I can do this. I can come back. <laughs> Woo! I, I would have lost my fucking mind, but what a fucking game from Cinemax. Look, he's had other games where he was playing, at, look, there wasn't a bad game from Cinemax, but there was a few games where he had combo openings, and for whatever reason, no ender came out, or maybe the reset option, maybe he was looking to drop during the light auto doubles, because I, I, I believe it was light auto doubles twice, for two games in a row, where it just dropped, and he might have been looking for uh, a reset, and maybe, you know, an overhead, or uh, a throw just didn't come out, and Zenkai's like, oh, you're not going to do anything? Cool. I'll hit you. Yeah, man, you got to be digging this right now. Cinemax HD, man. High definition. And I know Nate's probably enjoying this very much right now, as he should be. Because if I'm enjoying it, he's enjoying it. There's no way. But you know what? Let's get back after it. Cinemax putting one on the board. Uh... What an awesome friend. He's been a big supporter of everything that we've been working on. Um, I'm proud of him, man. I really am. And Zenkai, of course, a good friend of mine. Ant's here. Hold up. That was delay. Hold up. Wait a minute. What the fuck, Zenkai? Where'd you get that? How'd you get that? No, don't answer that question. We know. You've been trained in the main A's. You've been in the lab. Don't jump to me. What the fuck is going on here? Where'd you get ant tears like that, huh? Cinemax HD right now, he's got to figure something out. He's got to watch the jumps, all right? If he's going to jump, he's got to really make Zenkai feel the ground pressure first. Like, you can't, don't just raw jump at this man right now. All right, Cinemax, he's like, look, all right, I hear Mikey. I got to watch the jumps. I played really well last game. I gotta fuck some shit up. Zenkai willing to break there. He's got the life lead. Okay. Run up throw. Get that meter, or rather get that skull. Yeah, we're breaking that. Get off me. Yeah, Cinemax not wanting to break there. I like, ooh, okay. I actually like the choice to break there even better. One in the counter breaker. Zenkai's not falling for that right now. The punish? Saw the medium? How? Next level, he's breaking again! What is this? We're all over the place right now. Oh, this is huge for Zenkai. Damage Ender? No! I don't know what he wanted there. Maybe he was looking for the reset? I have no idea if that was intentional, but that skull is going to save Cinemax there. Clip Zenkai for holding up. The anti here! Don't fucking jump at me! Why are you jumping at? God, that is crazy. All right, I'm done. 
I'm never, ever, ever doing this ever again. <laughs> Whoa. The anti-airs, man. Cinemax can turn this around. I think the grounded approach that he had earlier on was definitely more effective. Those jumps, man. I'm telling you, if it's not a Gargos or a Cinder, if it's somebody who's got a straightforward jump, uppercut that shit, recluse that shit, crouch fierce that, stand roundhouse. Whatever you got, man, fucking air command grab, I don't know, whatever game you're playing, if you, you see a character and they've got a normal jump arc and they didn't commit to like a dive kick, you just see a regular jump, body that shit. You got to, man. I'm telling you, it pays off in the long run. Man, as anti -air. Let's go. Cinemax. Okay, I like the choice to dive kick from a range where you can't, you're not right on top of Sidira. Maybe you're just doing it to be tricky. I, there's nothing wrong with that. No punish off of that. You can actually see that happen quite a bit with Sidira where she'll Demon Blade and be right in front of you, but it doesn't even touch your block. And you can just blow her up for going for it. You can uh, destroy the recovery. Next game is there. Teleport to get out. Again, freezing the game, and Zenkai was able to take control of his character again. Which, you know, and that's just something to keep in mind the next time he's in that scenario. He's got to watch that because Zenkai was able to recover and just force Cinemac to pay for that mistake, blowing up uh, an opportunity to attack and choosing to use Shadow uh, Skull, right? And Zenkai is able to just get right through it. Okay, Cinemax gotta gotta piece it together here. Anything's possible. Blocking it out, blocking it out. Blocking it out again. Just content with blocking, missing the opportunity to throw Zenkai holding up. And Cinemax didn't get punished there, but Zenkai, of course, being being difficult, being tricky, hard to deal with. Wanting that counter break, Zenkai being ever so patient. We're gonna wake pop. Yeah, you gotta hold that now. You gotta deal with the setup now. You gotta hold all these skulls. Good offense. Well done. So now Zenkai, you know, he's he's doing good. He's he's still on a, a full bar of health here. Barely getting to a second life. Ooh, Ant here. What the? F okay, I call shenanigans. How is that hitting? He was locked out of meter earlier, and just from that exchange alone, Zenkai taking. Taking back everything, saying, look, this is my meter, my instinct. Don't get to tell me what to do with it. I want to build it again. Run a throw out of range. What is going on here? What is... Uh, whoa, this, that whole interaction there. Zenkai staying just in his face, though. Like, it didn't matter if he got jabbed out, didn't get a full conversion. He just stayed there. I'm going to barricade myself right in front of you. I'll poke you, I'll jump kick, stop. And I, I've talked about this with Zenkai before. He feels like his corner game has definitely improved a lot, um, considering that Sidira with the left, right, slightly outside the corner or mid screen is definitely where he wants to be at. But man, what a fucking crazy corner game. What's good with it, Mike? You know, let me know if you get tired, man. Um, Cause I got some people that want six. You know, I just don't want to have you around here, you know. Um... Gasping for air, you know, commentating sets for all day. Hey, man, look, what better way to go out? <laughs> <laughs> this is good shit, though, man. It really is. Right? Yeah, I'll definitely let you know. Um, I got nothing going on, guys, outside of me doing uh, doing some laundry in between all of this. I'm, I'm definitely open. So uh, the only thing that would be cool to know is just who's fighting who. And we'll keep it pushing. Cool, cool, cool. All right, man. So, you know, Nate's giving the, uh, it's giving the commands, letting us know what might go down, right? Some more action, more, more KI matches. Cinemax, PAG Zenkai running this shit right now. I'm having a blast watching this. Cinemax definitely has improved so much, man. He's fighting a guy that I feel is one of the best to play this game. Zenkai has placed 
decently in tournaments, okay? I, I tried to be modest, modest about people's accomplishments, but he's definitely done better than I ever have. And I think it's great to see somebody like Zenkai and Cinemax run these games, show what they're all about. Cinemax stepping up saying, look, I've been playing KI for a minute. I want to be better. I got to fight juggernauts like this. I got to fight Zenkai. I want to fight Nate. I'm trying to fight Truth. I'm trying to fight everybody. And here we are. Look at these games. Zenkai looking like he wanted to use that ender to get a, a side switch, right? To try to put him in the corner, it looks like. Or maybe just extending damage, but it looked like he wanted side switch there. Ooh, get off me! I like that response from Cinemax! He blew up the jump, right? Get the fuck off me. And he's, he's secured the uh, life bar. So, let's get it. Low opener. Zenkai staying awake there, breaking the life. Ooh, the panic! No whiff. You got this. Very nice. Very nice from both players, actually. So, next earlier with the anti air and then closing out the life bar. Zenkai returning fire with punishing. Showing another element that's not seen as often as it should be in Killer Instinct. Ooh, looking for the roundhouse, and he got whiff punished himself. I like that. I like that a lot, right? Ooh, no, you don't. He got through the web, but it still got damaged anyway. It still got messed up. The whole game plan is just, it's got to put a Band-Aid on it, right? The sooner we pull off the Band-Aid and realize it didn't work, it's okay. We just move on to the next setup. Synax tried to get through that web, and I thought it was going to work out. But of course, Zenkai being Zenkai, you know, he's ready for it, so. Good fucking shit, man. Well done, both of you guys. It's ridiculous. We're seeing a lot of uh, we're seeing a lot of crazy right now, you know, like Zenkai's corner game, which is it, it's funny to see because I know that he would, like I said, he'd rather mix. Yeah, he'd rather keep you mid screen. This could potentially be the last game. But let's see if Cinemax brings the heat enough to, to get rid of some of these webs, man. Let's see if he can... Can he smoke the spider and keep, a, you know, a couple more games on the board? What, what, what are we going to see here? I got to thank Nate once again for allowing these, uh, these kind of things to take place. Because this is how you, you build, man. This needs to happen a lot more often. All right, Cinemax does not want this to be the last game of the set. He put one on the board. He can walk out with the win knowing, hey, look, I fought a high caliber player and I did something. And, and I played well throughout the course of the set. You can't be ashamed of that. Yeah, Zenkai trying to get as much damage as he can. Extending that combo and then finish with uh, Shadow Recluse. <clears throat> Again, Zenkai just a combo maniac. He will try to turn anything into as much damage as he possibly can. He's willing to get that training, willing to get the exercise. Like, look, I'm working on my execution. You jump, I'll jab, I'll land, I'll go for whatever I can. And look at the punish chart. That was beautiful. Cinemax turning up the heat, saying this won't be the last fucking game. No, you don't. Zenkai stood up the block and crouched at the last second. That was a magic trick, man. Cinemax, what the fuck was that? He hit here. Look at that. He waited for the jump on the other side and he hit forward heavy kick. Oh my goodness. What a fucking anti here, man. What an anti here. Some of the best ants here as I've ever seen. Let's go. Cinemax running himself to the corner. I, I think he doesn't mm, try to bait him. I, I think he wants to negate left-right mix-up. And maybe he's thinking, you know what? Just put my back to the wall. Let's see how that works out. I mean, it's possible. He just wanted to try to get that guy in the corner by switching himself. I see. Fair enough. 
He set the trap. Where's Senkai? Trying to block it out, Shadow Counter! This is not good for Cinemax. That skull is gone. It costs Zenkai meter, but look what he turns it into. Shadow Recluse, not enough. Barely built it and then blew out the combo right after. Oh no. This is dead for sure. Jump. No, he didn't even need it. I was expecting super jump Shadow Kunai. Man, oh man. Woo! First to 10. Got a hand of the both players, man. Good fucking shit. That was good, man. Cinemax. I like what he did at the end, man. He set the trap. He put himself in the corner just so he had a better chance of potentially getting a back throw or landing like a cross up or anything to c try to convince Senkai, hey, you're safe and put it in the corner. That was good, man. I was like, wait, what is he doing, right? And then I realized, oh, okay, this is this is what he wants. He wants to try to put Zenkai in the corner. GG's, man. Zenkai did it again. He did a fucking phenomenal job. He's a great player. I can't be too nice because then everybody's gonna be like, ah, it's because you and Zenkai are friends. Cinemax is my friend too, man, and he he played well. It's not easy to pin down Zenkai, and then playing that matchup, I personally think that Sadira most likely beats um, Spotnol. At least. All right. All right, I got one. Okay, what about what about what about um, Iceman versus uh, Dark Knight for TJ? Woo! What about that? Let's see that. All right. Let's see that. Right. All right. Cool. Cool. I, I like Iceman. Cool. All right. So I may have to.